It is July 11th, 2013, and I am begging the viewers of this transmission to look into what we're about to cover and to force this out into a national debate. Because one of the biggest events in the last 12 years or so happened on July 6th, on that long July 4th weekend. Barack Obama, just like a few years ago on New Year's Eve, signed the NDAA to be able to secretly arrest you and your family and disappear you and have hit teams kill American citizens like Michael Hastings. Well, he did that on the weekend uh, after July 4th, and we posted it at InfoWars.com. I even talked about it some on the Sunday radio show, but other than that, we checked today, four or five days later, no coverage it's Thursday night. No coverage. No coverage. Here is WhiteHouse.gov on that Saturday when they put the executive order out in the evening with no fanfare, no coverage. Here's InfoWars.com with a report on it, breaking down what happened over the weekend with just a copy of the executive order. And here's RT on July 11th. And they first published it July 9th. Okay, do you see that headline? No one else is covering it. Obama gives himself control of all communication systems in America. Now, they've been creeping towards this for a while. And you hear about how you're going to get government videos and text forced onto your phone. Even if it's off, it will turn on and give you messages from 1984. In 1984, Winston is woken up by the TV that turns on by itself that looks two ways. And, and is giving him orders to get up and exercise. The, you know, the nanny state cares about him. Ladies and gentlemen, the head of the Pentagon cybersecurity, five years ago, he, he's now the head of the NSA, Alexander, General Alexander, bragged. You can go look this up. Kurt Nemo wrote articles about it for Infowars.com that the NSA is not just going to spy on you with total information awareness, like General Poindexter had said a few years before in the New York Times, admitting all the total spying, but saying it was a good thing. Everything you do to be recorded. No, he didn't just do that. He said it's going to be offensive, info war. We're going to deal with any media that doesn't agree with the government's policy. Kind of like the new secret interpretation of the Patriot Act that just came out where it meant all info was terrorist. That's why all these training manuals say wearing blue jeans, paying cash, everything's terror. It's about making all of us the bad guys, all of us the enemy combatants, all of us the insurgents. You've seen the news articles where police are told now, the general public are insurgents. This is a paramilitary, super creepy takeover, not to protect you from Al-Qaeda that our government publicly runs in Libya and Syria and everywhere else, but to come after you and your family. And the bigger news is this came out last weekend and he got away with this. He tried to sneak out the um, NDAA announcement like a fart in church. That didn't work. This, this worked. No one is covering this. This is a big deal. This is the surveillance, but also the two-way to commandeering. And it says they're going to set up a national center so the government can communicate with every device in America with vital messages with the media, meaning mainstream media, ladies and gentlemen, that is beyond 1984. And that's what they designed it for. So they're going to kill the old internet. They're going to force us over the internet too that's surveilled, controlled, where you waive your rights. And they're going to use all of this system to basically only force feed their propaganda. That's the dinosaur dying mainstream media and the dying corrupt government's answer is a information coup d'etat. And right here is former NSA officer, uh, journalist, researcher, been all over the press lately. Everything he's talked about the last month has been proven, even though they demonize him. Wayne Matson, Briefly, Wayne, you've already been here for filming for Obama Deception 2 and you're going to be on the radio show tomorrow live in the third hour, but you just heard my analysis for my own open source research. Is that accurate? And what do you make uh, of this? I mean, I mean, if the Soviets did something like this, we would call it what it what it was, tyranny. I guess at my age, uh, I can look at this over a period of time. I first became involved in computer security with the U.S. Navy in 1982. And I have seen how this has progressed over the years. 
I was once on the board of directors of the Certification Authority for Computer Security Professionals. And I saw how NSA was moving in on the civilian side of computer security. As a matter of fact, I resigned from the board along with my good colleague from Finland, Johanni Sari, who came out of the banking industry. We saw what NSA was trying to do. They were creeping. It was mission creep. It was constantly coming in uh, to the civilian side of computer security. And how do you take over the internet? You come in through the computer security angle. Because um, you're the administrator, you've got everything. You got, you've got everything. So is this it's, really a takeover? It, it, it is, and I saw this starting even back in the uh, early '90s, late '80s. I spoke at some seminars, uh, international seminars. I keynoted one in Singapore, and I always mention this uh, pipe dream at the time. This was coming out of the Defense Science Board, Defense Policy Board, Offensive Information Warfare. I said this. This is very dangerous. This is very dangerous ground because we already knew there were viruses. We knew that the son of the NSA chief scientist, Robert Morris Jr., unleashed a worm that brought down several computer systems in 1988. People at the time said that's NSA pulsing this network. They're pulsing. They're looking at the vulnerabilities and want to see if it can be done. I said this is dangerous territory we're involved with. When I, when I saw what NSA was doing, when they tried to take over, and they basically have taken over the computer security world, now they want to take over the internet itself. It's true. It's not a conspiracy theory. Alexander said it five years ago. Alexander he wrote an article. Said it. They've got groups in NSA dedicated to information. The Cyber Command, which Alexander heads up, is dedicated to fighting cyber warfare. And... I, you know, and, and it's like a Manhattan project. They're building all these giant facilities all over the place. We're going to talk about this in detail tomorrow, but, but, but bottom line, this is a total power grab. And my late friend, Lynn McNulty, he passed away last year. Lynn McNulty headed up the civilian side of computer security for the National Institute of Standards and Technology. He fought NSA tooth and nail when NSA was trying to grab power back in the uh, 90s, early 90s. And we got together many times. This is not a pipe dream. NSA has always wanted to take over the computer world, Internet. And everything. now they're saying they're going to use it. If any media is out there they disagree with, they say they're going to knock it out even domestically. I mean, this is really creepy. And, and here's what's happening. They're going for it all. The powerful, corrupt interests that are crony capitalists aren't free market. They're, they've decided to go for it all. I mean, and they are going for it all, and it's so complex, the general public is almost like Native Americans facing Gatling guns. They just, it's it just, there's not even, what do we do in, in, in 60 seconds? How do we respond to this? I used to defend NSA. I said, we need the capability because the adversaries have it. NSA needs to be abolished. We need to pull it down, start over again, and I, I would have to throw in the CIA. Dan, Senator Moynihan said, Break apart the CIA, put them back in the State Department. We need to get rid of the NSA. We need to get rid of the. We need to scale back the CIA. We got to get rid of all these homeland security. This big behemoth. It's got to go. NSA. I agree. And let me add this in closing. People say, "Oh, the Russians and Chinese will get us." The corporate interests have already sold us out to the communist Chinese. Russia is basically collapsing, ladies and gentlemen. If it wasn't for the oil. We've been taken over by corporate interests. We were taken over. Most of the spying's done by offshore private groups who use it for their own power. We've already, uh, security threat, we were infiltrated by corporate takeover artists because we weren't looking for that. And uh, to all those in NSA, I know the morale is terrible in NSA now. They see what's going on. They're, they're looked at like Winston Smith now in 1984 we need more Ed Snowden's to come forward at NSA. The government can't pursue everybody. Uh, they know the law is being broken, and uh, they can come to me. They can come to anybody they feel trustworthy with. I, I know Obama has chilled investigative journalism in Washington around the country, but we need people to continue to come forward. Absolutely. That's the solution, getting past your fear telling the truth. They've committed the crime. It's like it's a crime to expose illegal spying. It isn't. We'll talk about this tomorrow. WayneMansonReport.com. Alex Jones with InfoWars.com. He's on this Friday show tomorrow. 
And I'm not going to even get to what's happened since he's been here with us today. But believe me, they do not want this information out. They don't want you to stand up and say no to this technocratic takeover.